So today is Juneteenth, the federal holiday commemorating the emancipation of the last enslaved people to get word of their freedom in the Confederate States in 1865. Now, you may find it interesting that free and enslaved black people in Virginia were among the first to learn of the Emancipation Proclamation two years prior to that. As Barbara Ciara reports, you can still visit the area where history was made. It's called Emancipation Oak, and it got its name from a great event in history. This tree bore witness and provided shade to hundreds of people, both free and enslaved, who listened to the words of freedom contained in the Emancipation Proclamation. It happened here under this mighty oak. That's where the first reading of the Emancipation Proclamation took place in the South. But it all centers around uh, the oak tree. Hampton University history professor Robert Watson. It was a new thing, it was a new beginning. It was a time when people uh, learned that they uh, were no longer had to answer to anybody. And so it had to be a daunting task to uh, wake up one day and, uh, and, and, and know that you are not free. Watson says, while the document written and signed by President Lincoln is celebrated, he also notes there was a political purpose to its intent. The one thing that historians are clear about now is that it was issued as an act of military necessity and not as an act of humanitarian concern. Professor Watson also reflected on the narratives of former slaves now archived who stood at this tree to hear the news, the thoughts they shared, the words they spoke when they learned they were free at last. What were they thinking? What were they feeling? Jubilation, uh, uh, anxiety, anxiousness, uh, not really knowing uh, uh, what was going to happen. And with all things presidential politics, action begins with the stroke of a pen. That instrument, known as the Pen of Liberty, is now housed at the Hampton University Museum. As the nation approached its third year of bloody civil war, the proclamation declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are, and henceforward, shall be free. In the case of this pen, it was one of the pens that was actually used to sign uh, the Emancipation Proclamation. It's an honor to have it here. That said, the Emancipation Oak remains a living history. The majestic oak is reported to be approximately 309 years old. In its current state, it will likely serve as a silent witness to history yet written. This one of the 10 iconic living artifacts in the world. It's a day trip to see the Emancipation Oak, definitely worth a visit. And this footnote in history, the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863 freed African Americans in rebel states. Not all were free until after the Civil War with the passing of the 13th Amendment, which emancipated all U.S. slaves wherever they were. And now, 156 years later, Juneteenth is a federal holiday. Barbara Ciara, News 3.